What's up, YouTube? Matt here at the Broken Honda Garage, and uh, for like the last eight months or so, I have not had a speedometer cable in this car. Um, and last week, or last weekend, when me and Sean went to the junkyard to get that steering rack for his hatch, that that car had a speedometer cable in it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It only cost me a dollar, a uh, dollar oh eight or whatever with taxes. And uh, I just got home from work a little while ago, so we're gonna go ahead and install this real quick. This should only take a couple minutes or so, but that's the cable right there. Yeah, it was only a dollar. And uh, I'll just show y'all real quick my, my other cable, the, the damage that has been done. Ever since it stopped working, I had never pulled it out. I had just left it in there, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that today. Just a quick clip showing you when I don't have the speedo cable hooked up or whenever the speedometer cable is broke or detached or anything like that causing it not to work you know you have no problems with the RPM gauge that works just fine but as you can see the odometer isn't working and so whenever I'm driving I have to either base my speed off of my RPM gauge or I'll have to use a speedometer app downloaded on the phone and you know I'm tired of having to start the app every time I go for a drive so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this uh, speedometer cable in so I can have an Odo again so and on this one I just got it sitting right there even when I did the swap I never pulled it out I just left it in there but it's already pulled out the transmission and the boot is actually pulled back from the firewall already so it'll be pretty pretty easy to pull out once we get it disconnected from inside the car but I'm gonna show you I'll try to show you all a closer look I'm gonna pull off this intake real quick so I can show you exactly where you pull it out of the transmission from most of the time it will have a little c-clip on the stem that the speedometer cable goes inside and then that little clip just goes and locks in around it to keep it in place so let me pull this off real quick and then I'm gonna show you all right so on that right there that's where the speedometer cable plugs into and then right down up in here around it there's that c-clip that pops in right there I do not have that c-clip I will get one but for right now I'm gonna just stick the speedometer cable down in there you can still Put it in without having that clip um, just every once in a while you have to go back in there and push it down and make sure it's it's in there nice and snug but i mean this will apply to any b series or d series anything that runs off of a speedometer cable will this video will apply to so uh the next step will be disconnecting it from the back of the gauge cluster so that's what we're going to head on to next on the back of your dash uh, gauge cluster, you got these two plastic tabs. And what I like to do is just use a pick and pop those out. And pop right out. And move those tabs out the way. And it's going to be just two Phillips. Get your screwdriver and then we'll go ahead and pull those ones out. You're going to need a shorty. So after you have the two screws popped out from the tabs, you're going to come inside the car and we'll have to disconnect the clip that goes to the back of the buttons that are on this part of the cluster dash this one and then this one so now to do that kind of just lift that part of the cluster up and then from the inside you're going to push it out just like that and now you can pull it out and then disconnect these clips pull that one And that one. So this button comes out, 
Set that off to the side. Now the only one we got left is the hazard button. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that one out. Disconnect that clip. That button comes out, set that off to the side. Push our wires back through the holes. And this whole top half of this uh, cluster, piece of the dash comes right out. And then the next step will be removing the speedometer cable from the back of the cluster. So now we're going to go ahead and pop this tab on the back of the speedometer cable. Give it a good squeeze and then it'll pull right out. Once it pulls out. Normally up underneath the dash, right next to the center console or kind of next to where the CD player would be, up on the firewall you would have to remove that 10 millimeter bolt to pull the speedometer cable out through that bracket now I've already done my speedometer cable in the past and when I put it back together I did not put it back through that uh, bracket so we're not even gonna worry about that but I did want to show that to you so you're not trying to go straight from disconnecting it from the back of the cluster and trying to pull it through the firewall and try to pull that through with it so um, don't forget that step you are going to need to disconnect this if it's never been done before or if they did do it before and they put it back through that bracket so make sure you come down here and check that all right so now we are ready to pull it through the firewall and it's going to be right there so we're going to go ahead and grab that cable and pull it on through So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the speedo cable and we're going to fish it down right through this little gap and then we'll come up underneath and guide it up through the firewall through that hole then we'll go back out the car and pull it through that hole the rest of the way. So now we're going to try to fish it through here. And there's a little part of your ventilation system you're going to try to fish it over that so you can go behind it we'll go ahead and take that cable and reconnect it to the back of the cluster So now that is popped in, that side is ready to go. So now that we got the cluster side of the speedo cable all buttoned up, we're going to go ahead and fish it through the hole. Now what I did from the outside, I stuck a zip tie through the hole right there so that it will make it a lot easier to see the hole from this side as we feed the speedo cable through. Now that we got the cable through the hole, we can go ahead and pull the zip tie out. And we'll go grab the cable from the other side and stick it down in the transmission. So there's the cable already through the firewall. So now we'll go ahead and grab it. So now that we got it, we can pull it back towards the transmission. We're going to put it under these cooling lines. Bring the camera up over here. Now we can grab this cable and we're just going to stick it down in the hole. Alright, but I just popped the cable off real quick again so that we could put the plugs, the one that goes for the firewall and the one that goes at the end of the cable. So we're going to slip that on real quick. 
Now you can just feed it through all the way up and then plug it in on the firewall. We'll get that one in a second. We're going to go ahead and pop that one on over the end. And then now we're going to stab it back in the transmission. Once you get it pushed in all the way, pop that little rubber boot over it. And now that's in there. That one's good. So all we have left is to just take that rubber boot. Well, that's what it looks like when you have it down in there all the way. Now we're going to take that other boot and feed it all the way up. And plug that one up. Seal that one. Now that one is nice and sealed. Now all we have left is to go back inside, reconnect our cluster, the dash cluster, and connect our buttons. So now we got the top half of the dashboard. We're going to slide it back over there. Try to guide the wires. Pull it through. Take the hazard button. Pop it on, clip it, and then you just kind of push it back in, and it locks in place. We're going to do the same thing back over here on the other side. Grab your wires, grab our buttons, reconnect them. Get the buttons reconnected, pop it back in, clip it. Now we're just going to center our cluster. Once you get that centered up, just take your screws and put your screws back in our back holes. So now we got our screws back in, we got our tabs back on. So everything down here is done. The only thing left is put the intake back on and then go for a test drive. All right, so everything's finished. About to take it for a test drive. See what it does. Speedometer now. This will work for any 88 to 91 Civic CRX wagon, pretty much anything with a B series, uh, D series, as long as it has a speedometer cable. So, thanks for watching.